What's up guys, Winter Kills here. We are back again with more Bloodborne. So in the last episode we went to the Yahargul Unseen Village um, and came across some scary Cthulhu squid monsters or I guess they're called amygdalas. At least that's what the boss amygdala looks like. And I also in between episodes came back here. I didn't even know you could come back here and found this little head uh, stump messenger bath. And we gave their messengers the uh, black messenger hat. We got the messenger top hat as well. So we adorned them. We didn't leave them unadorned. We figured uh, help them out a little bit. Why not? Give them some swag outfits. Um, but yeah. So I found out that the Argo Unseen Village is right here at the frickin' Unseen Headstone. Um, not the Frontier Headstone, so I don't know if exactly we're supposed to be there just yet. Um, judging by the amount of areas on this tombstone, doesn't look like this one's quite complete yet. I don't know. Might just be less areas on that tombstone. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I do want to go back to the... Was it Old Yarn or the Cathedral Ward? I can't remember. It was Old Yarn. I want to run back to Old Yarn real quick, and I want to check on a door, see if it's opened yet. Because in the last episode, we went to the right side of the Vicar Melia boss fight area, right side of that building. Came down into that old hidden church and went through there and we arrived at the Unseen Village. Um, so I still just don't know if that's exactly where we need to be as of yet. So. I'm just going to run back down to this one door. See what's up with that. If not, I'm just going to bold Hunter's Mark out of there. And we'll call it there. And if not, that door, there's still one more door that we haven't checked yet. We checked a little while ago, maybe a couple episodes ago. Probably not even going to bother checking that just yet. Um, if all else fails, I'll probably just end up going back to the Unseen Village. And trying to progress to that area. So yeah, the door is over here, I think. Taking on these werewolves like it's our job. Amateurs, get out of here. So yeah, this door yet... We have yet to open. And let's see. It's not open from this side. Huh. Pretty sure maybe last time we checked that said closed. Now it says does not open from the side. I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, let's just bolt Hunter's Mark back to the lamp. So, I'm just going to go back to the Unseen Village and we'll go from there. A little out of ideas at the moment. A little bit of a... Bleh, short on ideas. So, we'll just continue from there. Just gotta hit a couple more loading screens to get through there. Off to the Unseen Village we go! Hey, 
Hey, bone marrow ash comes from Hemlock Charnel Lane. Oh boy. We were just there not too long ago. Alright, so now we're at this fucked up place again. Boy, all the enemies are like red and shit. Explode every time you kill them. It's basically trying to get down this bridge. Ah, I think I know what needs to happen here. That bell that we just heard ring. Um, we need to kill the lady who's ringing the bell. She's kind of like a necromancer, I believe. There she is. Now these guys shouldn't come back. They should die for good once they die. Yeah, the last episode we just couldn't get across that bridge. We were just fucking getting wrecked. We'll just leave you guys be. No sense in trying to fuck with them. I can't see what is going on. There was another way we could have gone. Okay. There's that area. Let's go back up in here and check this these cells out. Sucks to be this guy. Bolt damp blood gem. Maybe that adds a little electricity bonus to our weapon. That'd be cool. Maybe kind of like imbuing it like you could in Dark Souls 2 and 1. Get a little bit of a cool effect on your weapon. Is this door open? Is that open from this side? Why would it open from that side? Oh shit. Well, we got another bell lady in here, it looks like. We gotta find that bitch ASAP. Drop something for me. Some blood vials. Who's the bitch ringing the bell? Where are you? Air. We just got the air room. Oh, come on, dude. Where were my iframes on that door opening? Hey, there's the bell lady. This guy do not fucking load me up with a fucking cannon shot. Thank you. There's an item in that there prison cell. Let's see if we can't get that. And I think this is the place... I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode, but this is the place where... That if you die to one of those bag dudes... Creepy sack men... Um, they, you end up here in this unseen village. So I'm pretty sure you can imagine how fucking weird that would be if that happened. Is there anywhere else we could have gone in here? Something's shooting at me still. Aha, this door, we can open this door. 
Alright, so that's a little bit of a shortcut, I guess. I really want to try to find a lantern. Uh, really just kind of settle in somewhere so we don't have to cross that fucking bridge again. Because that would suck. Bolting through all those enemies again. So much shit can go wrong there. So fast. And I'm just getting shot at from fucking god knows where. Alright, though. So there is a fucking. Cthulhu beast. I hear a bell, lady. Alright, that big Cthulhu monster is giving me the look. Like it doesn't want me here. Oh shit, what's it doing? It's fucking shooting at me. And all these bitches are here. Get the fuck out of my face with that shit. Alright, well, I'm gonna get, like, fucking destroyed if I go that way. Uh, so I'm gonna come over here first. Hey there, buddy. What happens if I fucking shoot you, huh? Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Oh, fuck. We gotta find that bell lady. Or else these bitches are just gonna keep coming back. Gonna throw shit at me from point fucking blank. Run. Fucking run. Okay, it didn't really do anything to me. I hear some fucking weird talking going on. Oh, there's two of you. No! Fucking die. Okay. Look that bell again. Fucking bell lady's gotta be here somewhere. have to be a thing in this game. Guns are one thing. But a Gatling gun? Really? Tiny Tonitrus, okay. Does not open the side. Alright, so I think that's it with this room. No bell lady found. Gotta run past this fucking thing.
Whew. Okay, maybe it doesn't do anything to you, but... I don't care. It's creepy as shit still. Thought that was the bell lady right there, but it's not. It's just a statue. Just a fucking statue. There are lots coming this way. Alright, um, I'm gonna go this way now. Oh shit. Fucking run. Lantern. Yes. Alright, so that was a whole bunch of ne unnecessary bullshit back there. Hey, that's just so fucking weird how he looks at you like that. And there's another one of these things. He's got the fucking Mensis cage shit on his head. the actual all right um nothing happens if I shoot you okay Good thing. Oh no, blood dog. Regular dogs were worse off as is. There's an item I missed right there. I hear that bell. That doesn't mean dinner's ready, unfortunately. That means fucking necromancer, bitch. Frenzied cold blood. Alright, boys, settle down there. Can I get one at a time? Oh, the dog is behind me now. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Is this shit even worth fighting? Let's be honest here. That guy just fucking truck stick me. I'm booking it. Eight blood vials. Was it really worth it? I was gonna say, don't fucking long dick me here, but that shit better open. What the fuck? Fuck is with this lantern here that's just not working. Is it because there's like NPCs here or something that I need to kill? 
doesn't look that way. Oh, there's a note here. Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn. Find one and silence its harrowing cry. Well, that's not that easy. I mean, I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. It's been a very weird episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Um, stick around. We're going to do a little bit more exploring next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, Winterkill is signing out. Subscribe if you're new, guys. It means a lot. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.